In this video we've got a Maryland bridge which we'd like to separate into metal and uh, ceramic. So the first thing I want to do is the blender center is over there. This is no good the alignment. We go into the model designer. This is our target model. And then I'm going to look at from the top, rotate it, shift right click, place my cursor, click the P sign, shift D, shift D to duplicate, shift D, and then we're going to align this to the center of blender. So this is really good. And then we're going to go to the easy edge module and we're going to do a few things. This one, we're going to put teeth for milling to collection and then we're going to start drawing our outline and we do this in the Pontic section. So here I'm going to put my cursor, shift right click, outline tooth preparation and then we're going to extrude this line into our, our object which is going to be created. Great, we're going to fuse this line and we're going to make a tube for the lower pontic because it's aligned in the lower coordination. After that, we're going to make the cones for this. So I'm going to select it, make cones, and we're just going to leave it at that and accept it. Next, I'm going to go to the next menu to the Easy Edge Creation. So here, I'm going to rotate the scene until I'm sort of happy. I want to separ separate these teeth. So somehow like this, and then we're going to store the scene rotation, which means that if we accidentally rotate it differently, we can reset the scene. So here, click on it, shift right click to place my cursor, and then create a curve. Now this curve we're going to pull out so I'm going to make it quite long, like this. Also, I'm going to move this to the center, like that, move this one to the center. But we just don't have enough vertices. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on A, and we're going to subdivide it. Click on plus A again, and then plus, and maybe one more time, A again, and plus. And this is now where the fun starts. We're going to um, take these vertices and, and do our design. Now this is going to be a little bit like a like a puzzle piece. We'd like to make undercuts. So we're going to have this made so that um, it sort of locks into position. Some are so, something like this. So what I'll do is I'll fast forward this. I'm going to try and do this as best as I can and then we're going to resume from that location onwards. Okay. Okay, so now we've got it like a puzzle piece and I'm just going to look at the contacts there. Should be okay, hopefully. And we're going to now make this, dig it out of our, our bridge. So we're going to extrude curve into cutting tool. At this stage, I'm going to rotate the scene. You can always go back if you need to. So we're just going to have a look at it and it didn't cut for some reason and that's because there's probably a problem with the mesh structure. So I'll just go back a bit, Control Z back. I'm going to reset the scene and just adjust this a little bit on this side and I think this is where the problem comes in over here because the design of the two surfaces is not that good because you can see the overlap. We have a little bit of a better design over here but still not great. So this should have been smoothed down even more. 
Let's extrude this curve into a cutting tool one more time and hopefully it's going to give us what we need. Okay, we still don't have, yeah, we do have what we need. Here we go, it's all closed up and we've got our, our cut. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the milled shoulder. So this is what it looks like. Of course, if you wanted to smooth it down the edges, you can. And this could be a good thing because uh, maybe the milling machines, if you do mill, it may not go into these corners. I'll just quickly demonstrate. So here, smooth. And then we can smooth this down uh, all the way if we want to smooth it down. Um, just to get it all nice and rounded, everything. So what I'll do is I'll just fast forward and just round all of these edges down. Okay, you can spend more time on that if you wanted to. But here yeah, it's uh, sort of rounded down. I think you get the jet of the whole thing. So when, when, once, I, once I've done that, I'm going to exit and we're going to make our milled rests. And we're going to then finish the assembly. So this is set at 0 0.1 millimeter offset, which hopefully will then uh, give a small airspace or cement gap between those two components. We'll just see what the end result will offer us. So here we go, we've got our our Maryland which has been made. There's a little bit of um, a color difference over here. I'll just delete the color and um, maybe just change the colors around. Just give this a bit of a, um, a grayish look and then I'll just give this delete that a little bit of a whitish look. So here then we have our milled. Okay, here we could have maybe um, sculpted it a little bit better. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually doing this. So um, just to understand how this whole project would then um, pan out. So I think it's a fantastic way of uh, dealing with something like that. You can have this then in metal and the other part in uh, porcelain ceramic. Awesome. Okay, hope you guys like it. And uh, this is the Easy Edge module. So fantastic, I think. Okay, bye.